All right, here I am with East Coast Meta Knight. Power ranked ninth place in New Jersey. Kay Sizzle, one of the most controversial characters in the Smash community. Don't get into a flame war with this guy, you won't win. All right, Kay Sizzle, um, how are you enjoying the tournament so far? Um, I, w I wasn't expecting to enjoy it a lot, actually, um, but I have to say right now, it's the best tournament I've ever been to. Like, I wasn't really hyped about the Japanese coming, but I have to say Alex is the smartest man in the world for making him come over here. It's, they're awesome, great attitude, and I love watching them play, and this tournament's been a blast. All right, uh, how'd you do so far in the tournament? Um, well, I didn't enter singles, I entered doubles with DM Brandon. We had a lots of fun. We took out two Japanese teams. We got 17 of 85. I mean, it's not good, it's not horrible either, but hey, uh, we had fun. And I'm entering Brawl Minus tomorrow, and that should be interesting. I've been practicing a lot for that. Yes, I'm entering Brawl Minus too, and I've been practicing. <clears throat> but let's not get sidetracked on that. Um, why did you choose to uh, team with DM Brandon for this? Um, well, I wanted, I came up with a little strategy since DM loves using his uh, drill rush with side B. So we were, uh, usually people think that it's a ridiculous move. Like why would you side B directly into two guys like who can shield? So while he does that, they try to attack him, I come in with Tornado and then we can combo off that. So then it throw, it throw off a lot of people like Japanese didn't know what to do versus us. Many teams didn't know what to do versus us. And it was pretty good and I'd like to give it a try in the future again. So basically, you had DM Brandon do a move that you knew would be a bad idea, but then you just cover it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it works. It's double Meta Knight. So. But uh, of course, you got 17th, which means you guys both have skill. So that's nothing to put your nose up to. Um, you say you come from New Jersey. Is there any like underrated New Jersey players that you'd like to talk about for a quick second? Um, yeah, actually. Uh, JB Andrew, uh, he's uh, Meta Knight. He moved from NJ to PA, now he's back in NJ. He's unranked, but he's probably like near my skill level. He actually just took out Co-18 2-0 earlier in pools, which is kind of funny because Co-18's been making fun of NJ for losing to their unranked players, but today Co-18 loses to NJ unranked for That's that karma. You gotta watch what you say, man. It can come back to bite you. <laughs> when you're practicing in your uh, home state, Who's, who are few, some of the players that you just love to play and you love to get good practice in with? Um, I like to say Anti is my favorite person to play against. We both never sandbag. We're always playing our series, and every set we've ever had, uh, we always learn something new. We always point out what we did wrong and what we should be doing in that situation and a lot of things. Like He's very fun to play against, and, like, yeah. <laughs> is there anyone out of all the Smashers you've ever played that you just can't stand playing, not because of them, but because just their play style or something about playing them just is not fun at all. Uh, you know, everyone has that guy, that, you know? Um, well, it was ADHD just because I've never beaten him in the 20 sets we've had, and I hated Diddy Kong, but I, I used to train with a lot with Orion. I used to tell him, go the gaze you could, like how you would play me in tournament. He'd always say no until the other day when I finally played him in tournament, and it was the worst time I've ever had playing this game. And I never want to do it again. And it went to time and it was horrible. And so Orion, you win for making me hate this game when I play you. <laughs> All right, um, is there anyone that you didn't really expect to be that good or you didn't never really heard of before that when you came to this tournament you were very pleasantly surprised about? Oh, uh, let, let me give a think about that. Uh, I have to say Rain, like uh, most of USA has Falco uh, figured out pretty well and he just brought a new level of camping to the game they camp perfectly they brought up they brought out new strategies um, everything's perfection they adapt perfectly uh, the Japanese but rain is extremely impressive he's definitely gonna be placing in the money tomorrow in the singles bracket he he, he lost pretty badly to DHF today but that was Falco Dittles it doesn't really prove much but he did beat Rain, uh, Shadow pretty well, and that's a big accomplishment. And yeah, uh, Rain definitely takes right, it for impressing so me the most. Dude, everyone um, how are you, what do you expect to uh, see from your brother in this tournament? Um, I expect the, the entire country to know the name Nairo. Like, Nairo's been wrecking Atlantic North lately. He's um, one of the few people to take sets off anti. Took ADHD twice out of the same tournament. Taken Adamus out multiple times, the Buzz, Shadow. 
me, everyone. And now he's finally, this is his first national. He's 13 years old and he's already taking names. He took out Meep today, um, took out Orion, uh, uh, TV, and he got fourth yesterday in doubles with Adamus, beating teams like Ally and Holy. Very clutch wins. And he's tomorrow's singles bracket. He's not going to disappoint. Look out for Naira. Now, there's been a lot of controversy over this question I'm about to ask. Who is better, you or your brother? I'm going to be honest. My brother is better than me, but that's at the, it's not like it's impossible to change that for me. Like, um, after pound four, I got into school and stuff, so I got inactive. While my brother, I don't know if you guys know this, but my brother never plays me. What he does is plays computers. He's just like me, he plays computers every day. Sometimes it's the randomest thing you can think of, wolf free for alls on Port Town Arrow Dive, and you're like, what the hell? But he learns, like, he learns from everything, and he prefers not to play humans, because I, when I play him, I rape him, and he gets bored. Like, computers, he gets to test out stuff, and, um, He's, he, he keeps practicing, um, he keeps coming up with new things, like people don't usually, uh, when I call me off guard versus Ice Climbers, he never, like people knew, uh, don't usually take uh, Ice Climbers to Pokemon Stadium, but it's actually good, like you can go, uh, fight in close combat when the stage is transformation because when you, uh, when you get grabbed, it'll break. So I was like, why are you taking them to such a big stage? He's like, watch. And then he would fight him. He'd get grabbed, but then it would break. He's like, they're not going to beat me. It's like he'd be in cheese, me, and all of these. And so he's better than me, but I'm not going to let him keep that throne for much longer. So, Is there anyone that you want to give a shout-out to? Um, I want to give a shout-out to my crew, SWR. I uh, love you guys. Um, Atlantic North, like, we're going to rape Apex. Um, I want to shout out to Havoc, Tyrant, Mike Hayes. You guys should have came. This tournament's a blast. Only Larry, Praxis, and SK came. Um, yeah, it's... Hmm, who else? Oh, and shout out to Nick Riddle and Sam. I love you guys, even though we talk shit to each other on the boards and stuff. But it's all good love. But... All right, um, uh, where did you get your... Uh tag from your name uh i guess it's an anagram my name uh the first letter my name is kelvin and uh i just took the well one day i was playing uh Yu-Gi-Oh cards and i was like on a uh I was, I was on a roll like i was doing heavy damage and all that stuff and then like people in the crowd were like oh k sizzle and like they just kept giving me nicknames and i liked the name so then i just made my email one day k sizzle for life and i put it at smashboard as well and there it gets all right, um, what got you into the competitive brawl scene? Um, I used to play Melee just casually until um, one day uh, JG just entered, uh, when Brawl came out, it, JG just told us about all his Brawl, and we decided to host events, see how many people would go. At first, it was just 20 people from around the town. Then on the third event we hosted, it was uh, about 100 people. Mewtwo King came. We were like, what the? Like, we couldn't believe it, and we got to play all these pro players. And they used to tell us how to get, they, they introduced us on how to get around to Princeton, all these far places that we never would have thought we'd take in public transportation to. And we just started playing more and more. And that's thanks to my crew, SWR, and JG Wentworth, that introduced us to the scene. All right, so as a Meta Knight main, um, what, um, what matchups do you dislike playing against? Or I guess that would be more of a personal thing, since Meta Knight's. Good, but what matchups do you not like playing? Um, mm, I'd have to say the Meta Knight Ditto isn't my least favorite matchup with Meta Knight just because sometimes it just feels like a guessing game. Like, I'm better than a person like Inui, but then sometimes he can actually beat me if he guesses that he should throw out a grab right now. If he guesses that he should throw out an F tilt, he can take a game off me just because of a, a dumb guessing game. And, like, obviously, I'm known for Tornado. It doesn't really work that well in the Ditto, so... It's 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 kind of boring. Like the other, day, I was two stocking anti multiple times yesterday in, in Meta Knight Dittles. Am I better than him? No, hell no. Like it's just dumb that I can beat him without being that good that, as good as him. So I don't like I don't like to play it. I mean, if you're willing to admit that like a Meta Knight Ditto can make you beat someone that you're not better with, are you willing to admit that Meta Knight greatly uh, helps players who aren't that good beat way better players than them? Yeah, definitely. Like it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to be biased. Yeah, of course, um, Meta Knight, um, like people, Holy Nightmare, he just recently picked up Meta Knight, and 
Um, he's taken. He beat Chuda today. Actually, actually, he beat him with Rob. But Rob's kind of un. He thinks he's unviable, so he picked up Meta Knight. And to, uh, yesterday, um, Alan Holy took fifth. Would it, would they have done it with uh, Snake and Rob? Most likely not. So it definitely gives a big skation level. Like, if Nairo wasn't able to use Meta Knight, I don't think he'd be Essex Festival. Like, he has a Peach, but Peach isn't going to get you far at Nationals and stuff. So, yeah, Meta Knight does give a gauge, but in regards to me saying the Dittles, like, Dittles aren't exactly a big skill indicator, as I said. Like, Inoue can beat me, but he's not better than me. Like, Death three stock rain today, does he mean he's better? No, it was just a chain grab fest. Lucario Dittles are the same. Like, a Lucario can have three stocks to one and that one with, the one, with uh, the one with the one would win because of the aura so like this game's kind of silly with it but uh back on point the uh, yeah the meta night so uh what are what is the matchup that you just love playing what characters do you just love playing against um I, snake uh, yes uh snake falco and lucario just Lucario because I main the carrier Dirk as well, so I know him really well. I know his recovery tools, what mind games he should be using, what baits he should be using. Snake, um, I have a really good strategy with him. I just jump around until they throw out something risky, and then I get under them, tornado, and don't let them on the ground because, like, I have a brain. Some people don't like to use their brain versus Snake. And Falco, just because if he gets off stage, I see people like Shadow and Mutokane that try to, like, near in between the side Bs, the, the illusions and stuff. Just tornado. Tornado gives you the guaranteed hit. Why give a risk? Just a little. Uh, just to give maybe 15 damage. I don't know. So um, those matchups, I, I greatly prefer. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of the tournament, and thank you for uh, accepting this interview. Oh, thank you.